Here's Johnny! But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Daddy! Go ahead. Make my day. Keep the change, you filthy animal. I love the smell of night pump in the morning. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? Auditions are always nerve wracking as actors were already nervous about things like lines and being judged by other people. So it doesn't help when you have some asshole director that likes to mess with actors on top of all that just to see how they'll react. I remember an audition with one director just like that. It was for the world premiere of a new musical. I already didn't want to be there because the premise of the show just didn't sound any good but the artistic director of the theater really pushed me to go audition because they flew in some bigwig director from London. I walked into the audition. The director looked at me, looked at my headshot, looked back at me, and proceeded to tell me that I looked nothing like my headshot. Okay. So this is when I started to get nervous. <clears throat> he flipped it over and started looking over my resume. Oh, you've just done Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, he said. I proudly started to tell him about the production, which I'd done at one of the oldest and one of the most prestigious continuously running summer stock theaters in the country. He cut me off about halfway through my story and said, Yeah, I know. I remember when I directed the original production of the show at London's West End. Boy. So the big wig director from London was Frank Dunlop, who had indeed directed the original production of Joseph, along with a slew of other shows for the London equivalent of Broadway. So needless to say, I did not get cast in that show. Though the joke was on him, since it turned out to be a train wreck of a show that got creamed by the critics. But the point is, <clears throat> Sometimes directors say things during auditions to make actors nervous, just to see how they'll react. Sometimes they treat you like crap just because they want to see if you're going to be a diva. But every once in a while, the director's just some bigwig asshole from London that likes to mess with actors just because he can. The audition room can sometimes feel like the Hunger Games. So if you need a safe space to lick your wounds after a bad audition and learn how you can be better prepared for future auditions, join our group on Facebook. It's for actors too, not just asshole directors. Facebook.com slash groups slash Guerrilla Film School. Remember, if you want to learn how to make better films and act on camera, Guerrilla Film School has got you covered. We put together a free training video on how directors and actors can work together on set. You can get instant access to this free training right now by going to guerrillafilmschool.com slash training. 